Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Privateer. We only got one more mission to do for Lynn Murphy, and that's to end the blockade against the Palin system and go find Dr. Monkhouse. So, let's do it. Uh, let's go talk to, uh, let's see, where is she? Let's uh, see if we can get our final mission and what exactly we need to do. I heard you waxed the patrol. Not too bad, eh? That's the closest thing to a compliment you've ever given me. Getting sentimental in your golden years, Murphy? If I came on to you in my golden years, it wouldn't be sentiment. It'd be senility. Now listen up. Our attacks on Bronte's reinforcements have finally weakened the blockade. They're running low on fuel, food, patience, you name it. It's time to make the big push and break the blockade. If you'll throw in, I can provide a force of two militia talons for your wing. We'll pay you 15,000 credits when you return here. You in? Well, I get some wingmen and I get to uh, get paid. Sweet. I can't speak for everyone, but I like kicking a guy when he's down. Then you'll start right away before more reinforcements jump in system. This will be a tough one. The blockade is holding at NAV-4 of Palin's system in orbit around Palin. If you make it through, Pick up your friend and return here for your pay. You worried about my pay? Or that I might leave without saying goodbye? Believe me, if you had left without saying hello, I'd be delighted. You're one tough broad, Murphy. Why, <laughs> that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> I think she's starting to like him a little bit. Well, maybe not. <clears throat> Anyways, okay. Uh, let's go to the ship dealer. I now believe I have enough money to get that repair droid. Let's go ahead and do that. Do we need to repair anything? Oh, we're good. Okay, where is it? Yeah. Boom. And now we can be repaired for <clears throat> our... our um... Oops, I forgot to upgrade my missiles, too. Um, now if we accidentally take some damage, and that's going to be useful in this next part. Or it could be useful in this next part. Um, you know, and now our... Uh, so some of our equipment will get automatically repaired. So that's pretty good. I like that. All right. Any other extra missions we can do? If we have some extra wingmen, we might as well, you know, use the help. No, I don't know if they meet up with you at NAV4 or if they, um, or if they just um, meet you at NAV4. I'm not sure. Okay. Patrol. No. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, no, nothing there. We're good. I don't feel like patrolling. I mean, especially with what we're going to have to do. So, all right. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's, sorry, let me save and then we'll go. All right, here we go. And off we go. Hopefully there'll be no one there. Oh, man. Is that an enemy? I don't really don't feel like dealing with enemies at this point. Okay, NAV-4 is where they're going to want to go. Now, I don't want to deal with this, um, with these asteroids at NAV-2, so we're going to actually take a different route to get to, um, to Palin there. So we're going to go around. I'm going to let an afterburn over there, because they do not feel like dealing with these fighters. So, the Zaitani system. Ooh. Yeah, I, I will do anything in my power to avoid asteroids. An automatic landing zone. I don't want to land. I want to get away from there. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll just uh, keep autoing until the enemies are out, of, or I'll after until the enemies are out of the way, and then we'll uh, head over there. Okay. Done with that. Let's head over there. Yeah, I, like I said, I'll do anything in my power to avoid dealing with, um, with asteroids. So, okay, we got a couple, we got three fighters there, but we've also got a, a friendly ship that will help take those out, so I'll just afterburn to the next zone, and then be done with that. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, done with that. So let's head over to this nav zone. Jeez, there's enemies everywhere. That's cool. Alright, now we can head up to nav 4. 
and finally deal with uh, the enemies up there. And deal with that blockade once and for all. Ugh. Enemies. Enemies. I wonder if these guys might... Will they follow us? What do we got? What are we dealing with? Anyways. Whoa, let's kill Rafi. Crap. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We're running. Not dealing with Kill Rathi, their BTS universe. No way. Yeah, I'll just run from these guys for sure. Yeah, not dealing with Kill Rathi. Hope they don't follow us all the way to bed. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, I do not need to be dealing with that. Ah, there we go. The advantage is mine. Now you die. I don't think so. <laughs> Demons? You can't beat me in some demons? Are you crazy? I have wingmen and against fighting against ships, which, you know, I've destroyed a thousand times. This will be a walk in the park. Okay, so this is our third round of demons. So now we're going against the ancient ship of doom. Yeah. Uh, that game was okay. There were some there were some things I liked about that game. Particularly, um, how in, in that game you could, um, come on, come on, come on, in that game how you could, um, see what the power-ups that you were going to get were before you actually got the power-ups, which again, I thought that was really helpful, you know, if you didn't want to get a power-up or you didn't want to change your special weapon, uh, you could avoid it, so that's really cool. But I, overall, in that game, I think the plot wasn't very good. There was a lot of things that weren't really explained very well. Uh, I liked the music in that game, don't get me wrong. And the gameplay was good. Like, the super sword you got was really good. But, um... Man, I'm getting shot at by something. Am I getting followed? Am I, was I followed here by something I wasn't supposed to be followed here by? Punch a couple missiles against this thing. Get it on a... Get it on a straight path so I can easily shoot it now. Maybe. So yeah. So let me know what you think, guys, about Ninja Gaiden 3. No. It can't end like this. Oh, but it can. Oh! Oh, wait, no. I, no, I don't care about that. I don't want to... There we go. That's what I want to do. I wanna no, not I want to walk under the talon. There you go. Please let me get a demon. There we go. Okay, well, anyways, I'll finish up with these demons. I don't know why they would send Talon fighters to help me. I mean, those things are pretty much useless. At this point in the game, anyway. So, anyways, I'll finish up with these demons. Uh, you can use missiles on these demons if you want to end it quickly. Because that's all, that's really all, I think, I believe that's all we're going to be dealing with uh, in this mission, is just demons. So, take this one out. Boom! Okay, so I'll finish, uh, I'll finish up these demons. And, nope. There you go. Yeah, I'll finish up with these demons, and then I'll be back once I'm done with that. Alright, we got him! <coughs> and over the course of the battle, um, you know, about nine demons in total showed up, but... Alright, and we have successfully destroyed the blockade on Palin! Yay! Is there some kind of political joke I can make there? Blockade on Palin or something? I don't know. Uh, <coughs> I'm going to not even touch that one with a 70-foot pole of BCS Universe. Right now, I'm just going to land on uh, land on the Palin base, and then we will find Dr. Monkhouse. Yeah, three missions to really take out all those ships, but, nah, it was well worth it. Now entering an automatic landing zone. I improved my kill scores, and, uh... We took care of it there, or we took care of everything there, so that's good. Make sure I got credit for the mission. Yes, I did. Man, look at that. I've taken on like 3,100s. I've got 121 kills already. It's pretty good, actually. All right, well, we've landed here on the Palin base, but what does Dr. Monkhouse have to say? What information does he have for us? You're going to have to wait until next time to find out. Until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.